No more Mr. Nice Egg. I'm going back to the start of these expert challenges. Because we've lost four in a row. <laughs> We're going to go back to Controlled Chaos. 12 random cards to your starting deck. Merchants provide a duplication service. And we're going to try to win. We're I did random. I believe. Did I random there? That's fine. I don't mind random. We're going to start choosing factions, though. I want to get some dubs here. A consumed spell gets re-added to your hand. This is... Okay, so we're alt... We're, we're hellhorned and alt... Stygian. Which is okay, because we actually got great offering opportunities here. 12 random starting cards have been... Added to my hand doesn't seem that bad so far. I have to be honest, Dazed is like really potentially great. 15 armor is quite nice too though. I think I think Concussive Coals is maybe a little better. And I do respect the Pyre. You should know from my gameplay, I respect the Pyre. Oh, gives for a guard. We haven't had that in a while. Or ever. Um, yo, if that hits Ice Storm plus 20 magic power, that's pretty pretty sick, dude. Um, I think Multi-Strike is a more valuable tool early on. But admittedly, having a champion that doesn't scale is, uh, is not amazing. But I think we're very powerful early here, although we have no knowledge of what we're going to draw. I think we can definitely turn this on and try to get a sick unit. Um, so hold on. I'm like, you come down. Let's give you some armor. Let's kill you. And then we'll sap you, which will also play Titan's Tooth. Look at that. That's a great start, dude. Now you got, what, 10 Frostbite? You're nine, so you're dead. Um, you're, we're taking a bunch of damage here. However, we can make it work. We can make it work. All summon effects will be doubled. Uh, doesn't seem that great. Um, we're going to be dazed at the top floor. So I think we'll we'll do like a horn break. We wanted it to, uh, I'm bad. I'm officially bad. I should have played it right there. But for some reason, I just it was like, don't worry about it. You'll still have it. But he's not, he's not gone because of the days. So we got super lucky. And I am very dumb. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Thanks for the energy. You're dead. We need you to die. Has it what's been consumed? Transcend imp? But it only brings back spells. <laughs> Alright. Um It's a bit wonky. Okay, so we're not accomplishing very much here. We're going to need to slow him down. The good news is I'm being 1,000% sincere when I say this. We have some incredible spells in this deck. So even though we have no units at present, I'm not like overly concerned about it. No, get rid of that just in case. Hold on. So you're taking 20. Now you're dead. Isn't that comical? You're dying to a train steward. It's embarrassing. Luckily, he's got the spell weakness on him too. We can take that to the afterlife with him. So, one thing we could do is get more summon effects, because we have one or two Transcend Imps. We have one. But do we really want more Imps when we already have a few? I feel like the answer is no. Um, I feel like the answer is skip, actually. I gotta look at how many... Uh, Offerings. We only, we only have two offering abilities, so I don't think we need any more offering tokens. I do think more spells is pretty good, and then, oh man, I mean, you, there's no way you don't go Titan Sentry here. So now I think we, now we've got one floor. I'm very guilty, by the way, very, very guilty of not setting up three floors. Typically, lately, I've only set up two, and I apologize for it. Um, I hate the Hellhorned units, though. We still, we want our Frostbite tank to get more value. Okay, I mean, out of these, get, give me the Alpha Fiend. We'll try to make him work. I don't think he's that great anymore, but if we can get him the Multi-Strike, he's act, he scales twice as quickly, which is really good. Now, you you having more HP would be nice, but Frostbite tank having more HP is is insanely valuable. Um, let me caffeinate here, and then, I'll, then we'll talk. I don't think we want to turn this on. I don't, I don't want my Pyre to take unnecessary damage. 
um, which is likely if we did that. You all got dazed. That's amazing. So, um, I think we should have you... I don't know if we should have you on the bottom floor, although it would give you more chances to attack. We don't really have a tank to go in front of you. For now, I think we can live with this. And I think what we're going to do is set up Champ and Frostbite tank one floor up, and then try to put Rage on our Flos uh, Frostbite tank. Although, I will definitely also say, Frostbite tank in front of Alpha Fiends... I mean, Alpha Fiend is just, now that I think about it, is, is strictly better. So, I don't, I don't know if I actually mind you just being there. And then, you just block for this guy who's gonna scale out of his mind. You get one extra damage. We don't, we don't care. We don't care. Okay, so you're, you're gonna die to Frostbite. Or to the Train Steward, for that matter. Yeah, I, I think we did this right. I think we got an amazing setup now. Um, I don't care about the Train Steward taking a hit. Might as well put this up here just to just to take the hit and give us the energy and give us a summon effect for later. And then I'm like, you should take rage. Nothing else really really crushes here. <clears throat> I think we're good. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think it's gonna be a big problem. Um, definitely like that. Them coming out dazed, like 50% chance. Okay, if you insist. Seems to be a little better than 50, but I'll take it. <clears throat> So now I'm just just being honest. I think we want to build our champion in a different way. Where our deck's already so fat. I think we can tailor it just by cutting down and duping. Um, I would like a Stygian unit. But I think we want to build our champ in a different fashion. I don't think we want them to be our rage enabler anymore. Because our rage enabler is going to be... Um, Alpha Fiend. Sorry, I don't play the Hellhorn very much. Okay, I'll lose 5 Pyre Health, and then 25 coins. Yeah, I'll take that. We should still be able to afford something here. We got lucky that it happened so early, but... To be honest, I think we definitely just love having a second... I guess we should, would have been better off just duplicating the one that we had. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, okay. We shouldn't have added the other one. Having a third one is not that bad, but... Obviously is not uh, what we were looking for either. I think Helical Crystals... Oh, no, 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 no. Ritual of Battle being cheaper. Okay. So now we have a tank that can fit on three floors. <clears throat> or three tanks that can take one floor each. We would like one more high damage unit. And to be honest, we might... Well, we'd rather remove Train Stewards than our Frostbite tanks for sure. Okay, so this is our low capacity floor. So we like your, your days, so we don't care about you unless you're going to despawn and hurt us. You guys are all dazed as well, which is funny. Um, seems about right. Hmm. They're not dazed? Either way, I don't know, the Frostbite crushed it there. I'm very happy. Um, so we definitely want Alpha Fiend at the back. And then I'm like, I mean, you're taking 9 damage, but why don't, we, why don't we just put our other Frostbite tank up at the front? I would be stunned, I would be stunned if any enemy gets past our second floor right now. I don't want to sound overly cocky, but it's like, I, I just don't see it happening. Okay. And then, we, I, don't, I don't even think we play Pyre Chopper. I think we just let it cycle around. I got a lot of removal. I want to do a lot of removal. We do have almost 40 cards in our deck right now. So I'm just <laughs> trying to think about the way that we want to do this. Gifts for a guard is very interesting. But it would also be our only spell that we could play this turn. Well, I mean, it, it's better than playing like two torches for sure. Who's day? We want the non-dazed ones. So you're hitting us when you die, which means you're all getting frostbite, which is hilarious. Um, we can't kill you, unfortunately, but we could. You're dying anyway. I don't know, man. Just get him going. Doesn't matter. Does literally does not matter. We did put the wrong tank here, though. But look at how, dude. Our alpha fiend is getting out of his mind. Might as well put you back here. And, dude, I don't know. We might as well, like, hit you. <laughs> this is... It's, I, I hesitate to say that this is a little cheesy. 
Oh, come on. Well, I guess we could still play. But I, I definitely think that we're leaning on a very strong Stygian unit to get something done. But hey, man, if that's what's got to be done, that's what's got to be done. So in this deck right now, I definitely feel like energy has been our principal concern. I think more rage is actually worth adding. We want another high damage unit. None of these apply. Uh, I would, I would, uh, but you know what, now that I'm thinking, I'm like, what if, if we went one more floor of capacity, we could have a second floor that's an Alpha Fiend Frostbite tank. Here, I don't think we want him. I think we'd rather dupe a Frostbite tank. Or, sorry, dupe a, our Alpha Fiend. But maybe upgrade them first. I think we're going to go here, then we're going to hope to get capacity on our next one. Energy has been a concern. So I, I think that either one of those is fine. So removal's great, pyre health is great, relic's great. What, what do we have? We have multi-strike one. What are we going to next? This is right. I'm pulling out all the stops. Okay, I think we'll go here next. Then we'll go. We'll take this path first for the free relic. Split anvil seems incredible here. And then start removing some trash. We know we don't care for the train stewards for now. The thing is, before we dupe our alpha fiend, I'd like to upgrade them one more time if possible. So rat. I mean, super multi-strike is really good. This is tough. I mean, technically with a good tank in front of you, you do scale better if you have more multi-strikes, so... But having so, having so many diluted rage targets, I don't know. You come out with 50 damage by default and you don't need to scale as much, I think it's a smarter play for us. And because you don't scale, we can afford to play you on the second floor. I definitely think we can turn this on, especially with, with days coming out. I feel very confident right now. I think I've, I've finally distilled down to brass tacks what I want out of this challenge. And I think, I think we're going to be fine. So one of you is dazed. We don't want to summon you on the bottom. You're a 60. Yeah, you can fit here. You can fit here. Might as well. Split Anvil is going to be so good for us, dude. Okay, we. you're going here, but first... You're not dazed. Okay, hold on. I got to think about this. I got to think about this. I do... Gold is really important for us. Will it still trigger Split Anvil if we use Titan's Tooth? I got to know. If we use Titan's Tooth like this. It totally did. Okay. So we know we need an Alpha Fiend here. We know we need... You're, you're our weak tank. So I'm going to put you up here. Just because I think we're going to draw our other tank next turn anyway. And then we might as well kill you like so. Because you have the super... This is going to leave you on 1 HP. Are you really okay with that? Yeah. <laughs> I am. It would be nice to find a way to get you quick. But I knew because of banner unit mechanics we were going to draw our other frostbite tank. So I think you're actually doing just fine. Uh, you might as well take the armor, and then I'm like, I mean, this, I was gonna say this will make everything cheaper, but I suppose that doesn't really make any sense, and you're good to go, you're good to go. Alright, again, I, I think we got an amazing setup here. Keep in mind, this is with the trial on, and we're not really suffering that much, so I'm feeling pretty good. No summon effects, no consume spells. I mean, what you would do then is probably this, and then... I like you here. Even though it looks weird. We could always kill you. I don't really want to. I guess we could. Hold on. This is dumb. But hilarious. Now we're talking. Now that that's gameplay, baby. Alright, we, we got an amazing thing going here. For sure. We know we like this. I was hoping for an offering token. Because then we can also offering token. The Titan's Tooth. Now we don't really have anything else to... I, I mean, I guess we could... We want this to come out for sure. I guess we still want to give the rage to you. I'm still thinking that you're the super multi-striker for some reason. But it's just incorrect. Um, we'd rather have you... Uh, it, it took the wrong uh, card, but we'd rather sap you anyway so that our tank lives longer. So you're, you're dead. Dude, let's just send it then. This is, that was with the challenge or the... The... the uh, 
whatever you call this trial with the trial on there you go so we got better uh, pyre which is fine we don't really we don't really play around with those archetypes armor ascend don't need them yet I'm, I'm very happy to have the gold all right then we're going unit upgrades this is a huge one got some extra gold as well so we want something oh my god that's exactly what we want and then we want to duplicate it now we we actually capacity is still a problem we want to get a reroll you know this is not huge but at least as like a stopgap measure we can put some extra armor on this guy for now um because he doesn't have as much hp um but i think we uh Let's not and say we did. I think we're really good. We just do have a capacity problem. We can't play our second Alpha Fiend all the time. One dazed unit. You have a harvest trigger. You're, you're strong, so we actually like you out here for sure. Friendly units gain plus two on death. I don't know. That's... <laughs> seemed the most sensible approach. Uh... We don't mind taking 10. We'd rather not, obviously, but we don't mind it too much. We know we need an Alpha Fiend out there. And, oh, you can't fit here. Okay. Then then that gets a little bit more complicated. We know we want an Alpha Fiend up... Because you're a crap floor. Okay, okay. We know we want an Alpha Fiend up here, then. Um, no consumed spells yet. So what's more important here? Super Rage or 50 default damage? You have 107. 50 wouldn't quite kill you. Then in that case, I think we actually have an obligation to do this. And I think our champ... Realistically may die. But it depends on whether we draw Alpha Fiend, Frostbite Tank, or both here. We drew both. Um, we have one more Frostbite Tank coming, but it's the crappy one. I think we need this. You're kidding the kill here, which is huge. There's... You can't fit down here, right? We've been down there. You're not getting played. That's fine. It's a little messy, but you know. You're still not getting played, so dump them. Um, it's a little messy, but there's there's good reason for this. You know, we're not, we're not just doing things willy-nilly here. We have a whole game plan. We should draw our last tank now. Now, the tank is not going to be great because they're the low HP tank. We could get them some armor. It's just a matter of whether or not we care or if we'd rather use our spells down here. I think we'd rather use our spells down here. Um, or would we rather use them up here to get more armor? I don't think so. Um, we just want to make sure we can still play this, which actually... I, we, we'll, we'll, I, maybe we won't find a way, actually, now that I think about it. You're taking six, you're taking eight. No, it worked, thankfully. Um, that that could have gone badly, for sure. You're doing a lot of damage. I think we need to kill you faster, though. Keep in mind, our Pyre... I don't think our Pyre has taken a single hit over the course of this entire run. So I'm definitely not disappointed. <laughs> think everything's going mighty well. We want you to get as pogged as possible. Yeah, we're, we're very content with the way this looks. You might as well get played... And then we're just going to try to make your life harder. I guess we'll get some armor on you. You know, you never know. This this might be the rare floor where our third floor actually matters. You definitely are going to start here. So this is exactly what we were looking for, by the way. That that great ice storm. Can do 25 damage. It's pretty good. For, for zero, that's pretty good. Um, I think we also... You know what? You have more HP. I think we're going to actually hit you with this. Thankfully, it didn't kill you. We definitely should have energy siphoned you earlier. We'll, we'll get you on the next one. Not a, not a super wise play. The the spell weakness is... I just ignored it, I'll admit. Alright, how are we doing on this floor? You had 31 frostbite. This, this floor is going to cream. I'm not sweating that. 444? That's a lot better. We block like one extra hit, I think, and then you do another 100 and something damage. Um, might as well hit you with one of these then. 462. So you will die. And also have 61 frostbite on you. It was a little spooky in the interim period, but we got there. I mean, you had, you had more frostbite than your life total was. So that's... 
that's usually good enough to do it. We don't we don't really need any more survivability right now. And again, I'm I'm really trying to pare the deck down, if nothing else. Um We don't want to dupe. We don't need the pyre health. I think this is heavy removal. We can always do something with the dupe. So, like, removal is, is easy. We, we don't want train stores. We don't want imps anymore. Like, all the imps have got to go. Um, the, the dupe, I would say... Honestly, for me, I think it makes the most sense on, like, gifts from a guard. Or maybe um, even Titan's Tooth. Because we're getting a lot of, uh, like, free spell triggers off of that. But I think this is more interesting. Plus, we've never golded it before. So, maybe we'll get two golds. I'm being facetious, by the way. Now, um, I would say both draw and capacity are interesting, but our game plan flows through capacity first. So we will be ignoring draw. This is our crap floor, so we can't fit what we want to fit there. I'm just in my... You know what? What we can do... Because the Demon Fiend is three, right? Or the Alpha Fiend is three. We can fit this down here which is not amazing but is okay we don't really need the energy we'd, we'd actually just rather have you not exist anymore um so get that out of there and then play this okay it sucks that we didn't actually have these units attacking because now they're gonna make it up an extra floor but it is what it is okay so super tank welcome to the show We have had no summon effects so far, so honestly, we just dump you. We don't mind. This is still a good setup. We're just waiting on our Alpha Fiends. <laughs> They're taking longer than I'd like. We we have to play one. You're making it. You're not, Okay, so I think we need an Alpha Fiend as low as possible to get as many attacks as possible. Then... We really want to not experience... Oh, I don't mind the pyre damage, honestly. I don't mind the pyre damage. So I think we actually get your rage up so that we slow down our descent here. And we start working these guys over um, to, to maximize our, our ability to keep our tanks alive for the relentless waves. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty great about where we stand now. Although we do have a bunch of trash in our deck now there's no doubt about that so there's the non-negotiable play you're gonna start pogging up real quick you dying is very important this would be amazing if it hit titan's tooth it did not that's okay so i, I think we've got i mean it's really it's a it's kind of a cheater way to build your deck when you just have the same uh all, all three floors are the same but it's doing some good work for us i'm not gonna deny that so we'll give you the rage on this one. Um, no matter what this discards, we're kind of happy. I'm still happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling mighty solid about this. So we love. I mean, we might as well encant this on the top floor. It's not really too good, but we'll work with it. Um, then Helical Crystals. I mean, every unit basically is dying here, except you, and we really do want you to die. Um, we should have encanted that on the top floor. It's okay. Take less damage if possible. You're already dazed. You're already dead. I don't really care to sap. I think we'd much rather just... I mean, it doesn't really matter which one we played. I guess sap would technically be better. We could have put... No, it wouldn't have put Frostbite on you anyway. Now, this is, like, a, an insanely easy turn. <laughs> That's, like, the most pedestrian draw we've had in a long time. All right, you're taking 800 from our crap floor, which is really, uh, really good for us. We want you to have spell weakness, and then we'll play our second one here. Um, definitely Helical Crystals with spell weakness is where we want to be. And then we'll hit you. And we'll Titan's Tooth you. And you're taking 846 still. Do one of these. Dump this garbage. I don't think we've had any summon effects. I might be wrong. All right. You're going to make it through one floor. Congratulations. You're dead. No problems. 
really, again, it's a little boring that we're not taking that much, but we don't really need it. And now I'm starting to think, do, do we even need the capacity? I don't think we even need the capacity. We can just set up our, our champ and our frost uh, lord on the bottom. Because it's like one floor is, no matter what, there's two, two pips per floor. And then two of them are going to have three extra spaces where we can put an alpha fiend. We only have two alpha fiends. And then one of them we put our... Yeah, dude, honestly, I think we take draw. Are you proud of me yet? We, we reasoned ourselves into a situation where draw was the most important thing. What a world. Um, relics are always nice. And we don't really need unit upgrades. Although, to have some more capacity on them. Squam, 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 squam. Okay, hear me out. We're going this way. Check this out. More armor every time it's applied. Yuck. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna dupe our Titan Sentry. And I'm gonna purge our bad Titan Sentry. Although he does have extra armor here. We, we don't need four of them. Three is the magic number. So was this the right way to do it? I don't know. Some of those relics could have been pogged. But I'm, I'm obsessed with... Not letting this deck get too overpowered here. Or too uh, bloated, I should say. Alright, so you have 100 damage uh, by default. Yes, of course we want that. Haha, <laughs> just a test to see if you were paying attention. Units restore all health when they move up a floor. It seems like one of the only things that could really like ruin my life right now. So, no thank you. You have 190 HP. That's spooky. So what our crappy floor is this one. So you're gonna go here. You're gonna go here and get you're gonna start getting buff. We definitely want you to. We needed to play him. You can't be mad. You needed to play him. It had to be done. What do you do? You add trash to our deck. Look. Am I proud of the fact that we did that? I am. Do I think it was the right idea? I do. And let's leave it at that. Dunk. Dunk. Dunky, 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 dunky. We need you to be able to die. We, we want the gold, don't get me wrong. But we need you to be able to die. Oh, we're gonna get the slay trigger on you now, which is awesome. And then, we can just to uh, torch you. You're dazed, which means I don't think you'll add any trash to our deck. We can at least get that out there. But, uh, and you're not going to add trash here either, which is awesome. But Okay, hold on, hold on. We need to find a way to get Titans to... I, I bet it'll work like this. I bet it'll work like this. Yeah, it, it is going to work like this. Okay, so then you just... You got to pick a floor, and I think it's this floor. You offering token... The real Titans Tooth, and now every spell should be free. If it wasn't already... It was already, okay. We get you out there. You're already dead. We would like to slow you down some more. We'd also like to kill these guys in advance, so let's get that out there as soon as possible. Um, still think you benefit from the rage. You benefit from the armor here. Um, you're just hoping it would get you. <laughs> it's okay. So we, our pyre might take a hit here. I, I, it's a heavy might, I'll admit, but... So our pyre will take a hit here. But it's it's in the necessary service of getting ourselves set up for the future. It's our first pyre damage on the whole run, I think. Which is, is really good considering we're on Covenant rank frickin' 25, dude. So you guys are both dead, which means we'll just emphasize it down here. Um, we'd really like to... No, we don't care about discarding that. What do I care? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Do we care about sapping? Kind of. Mostly up here. Worked out pretty well, actually. <laughs> Our champ must be getting very strong. They're a 160 by 2. Yeah, that's pretty... So the slay triggers are gonna... They're gonna keep rolling. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just hoping to draw, like, a Titan's Tooth, I guess. We don't, we don't even want to play those. Alright. So you get a little... Oh, you're dead, dude. That's incredible. This is really good. At this point, we're so late in the game. I don't think we need it. 
A uh, very common expression. I don't think we need it. <laughs> We're so late in the game. I think that the most valuable resource for us might actually just be to pick up a, a, a relic from the relic shop. But if we're going to do that, I, I definitely also think that, you know, a removal of some imps is pretty solid. I know we removed the best imp. That's because we don't respect any of the imps right here. When you summon an imp, gain one energy and draw. We definitely like rage uh, does not decay. And then if we could add like... Dude, I was just gonna say, if we can add another 25 to another unit, I'm, I'm loving life. Okay. Sorry, I just had an important message on the Discord. You're purging buffs and debuffs. It's bad for purging rage, but I don't think our slay triggers count as buffs, which is good news. So this is going to be our bottom floor, and we, I think you want best tank bottom floor. You're the best version of the tank we presently have. <laughs> um, we will play this, because we have the encant trigger, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess we should have played one of you as well. That's actually pretty dangerous. Anyway, get roasted. I know there's a harvest trigger here, but... Rage doesn't decay until they make it decay. Um, let, let's make sure you're dead. Okay, so we're going to have a, a harvest, or we're going to have an alpha fiend out there without a tank at some point. Where do we want that to happen? Certainly on the on the third floor for now. We need you to get as much armor as possible. Um, you're, you're an ember draining unit with sweep, which is the, the most dangerous thing of all. But uh, check this out. You're also dead, dummy. You're a dummy. We should sap... One of these guys. Take off six damage. Oh, but th this would keep the Ember Drain from hitting us. That's more important. <laughs> okay. So you making it a little further... I, I don't even mind if you get to the Pyre. This has to be played. You you have 40. It's like there's a chance we could kill you, but I really don't mind. I, I don't mind the, the Pyre damage we're taking here. I feel like I want you to get the rage faster for the slay triggers. I know it's like, oh, but I don't want to do the damage to you because they're sweeping units. We know we want you. You're not going to do anything on this turn. That's okay. Um, and we don't. You're going to die in one hit, so we don't really care to play anything else up here. We'd rather just do this. Maybe, we, maybe we we'll get a slay off of it. Not quite. But we're getting encants, and the encants are super valuable, so that we can keep our tank alive as long as possible. Okay, so we got we got a whole game plan. We got a whole game plan here. Okay, you with the Ember Drain is very dangerous. So what do we like? Well, we have nothing to do with this imp, really, unless we want to put it... It, it... There's not a bad reason, but there's not a good reason, either. So I think we always are going to encamp as much as possible. Get rid of you. I still think, believe it or not, even though you have more multi-strike... Ah, I like the rage so much on you, but I think it fits a lot better this time up here. Um, and then, like, we can definitely kill you. The, en the encants are important. But we, we, you know, we want to use them when it's the best possible time to use them. Um, you're taking 35 damage here, which is super not good. So I think we're going like heavy and can't strategies. You got wrong, wrong spell died. Wrong spell died, but that's okay. We're looking for cheap spells. Everything's still good, by the way. Like it's, it's very, very good. This is a huge encant floor for us. I really don't want to do 25 damage to apply Rage uh, 7. <laughs> they would be better off using it like on you, unfortunately. But anyway, then we want to make sure we're getting rid of Titan's Tooth here. Okay, that, that's good stuff. We want uh, You should have the Rage. Yes, this time. Another encant down here. Dump this, we can't use it for now. Put some spell weakness on you. I'm going to be honest, we're only using it for the encant trigger regardless, but it's still it's pretty valuable. You do have 42 armor, dude. That's pretty sweet. We are hoping to... I was just going to say, we're hoping to draw our other Titan Sentry ASAP. If you're dying anyway, would we be better off just getting like a Helical Crystals and then playing all of our spells?
Man, I would love to keep you alive. I think because of that, we have to play the Titan Sentry. Because we're gonna this floor is gonna fall apart pretty soon. And there I don't think there was anything we could have done to stop you, unfortunately. Um now our bottom floor is still gonna be pretty pogged. We would anything that blocks a hit up and up at the front here is solid, by the way. <laughs> Just to keep you alive for like a few extra hits. You're only taking 260! What? For the love of God, don't discard the other one. Thank you. I, I, I really do appreciate it. That's fine. There you go. Okay, now you're taking 606 and you're gonna have some you're gonna have some heavy frostbite. Can I could I put something up here that would block a hit? I cannot. You're taking 42 damage from frostbite alone. We could sap you and maybe it'll keep us alive for a bit here. So there's there's something here. So I think we like Energy Siphon. Uh Titan's Tooth. It's not incredible, but it's something. Take some armor. You only have to live through one attack. That's the thing. <laughs> now you're doing 500 damage. But I still don't think we're getting you on the top floor here, dude. Yeah, we're only 500 damage is coming out here. So, like, politely, I really don't see us getting this done. We're only doing 600 damage even now. It looks like it's going to be another loss. Is is painful. I really thought we, we we took like no damage prior to the final boss, <laughs> but it was much. I thought that was pretty good at least. For now, thanks for watching. I mean, we're in a bit of a slump here. I'll be back to try again next time. Appreciate your support. If you're enjoying this series, please do click the like button. A long running series is the most important thing you can do. Thanks for all your kind comments, and I'll see you next time. See ya.